Do you guys like my nails? I just did them. What well, I didn't just do them because this their stuff is chipping a bit. But like the polka dots, do you guys like it? I did it myself using a bobby pin. Absolutely in love with it. I think I like it more because I did it myself. Is that weird? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Megan's Dot Life, and today I have for you guys another review Friday. So to, I'm gonna talk about three products today and give you my honest opinion on these three products. So let's just go ahead and get started. First thing I want to talk to you guys about is this eyeshadow. I have a little bit on my lid right now, but it is so pigmented and it's a loose um, pigment and it's from Mica Beauty Cosmetics and the color is is a shimmer the it's a shimmer powder so I'm assuming that's just their line I actually got this in an ipsy bag about I want to say about six months ago like I've had this for a while and I used to use it when I first got it because I thought it was amazing and then I stopped using it because I thought I lost it and now I found it so now I'm back in love however the name is 17 bronze and I don't really think it's a bronzy color I get more of a pinkish color from it but it's a loose pigment and I don't want to spill it all over so I will do a lovely little swatch on my fingers for you um a downside that I don't like and I can't really show you guys this because like the it's loose if I tip it towards you guys it's gonna fall all over but um so the that's the pigmentation and I have to apologize if it's dark because I got home from work and it's late so but that's what it looks like I think I get more of a pinkish color of a pinkish hue than like a true bronze color but there are some bronze particles in there and um, like I was saying a downside oh I just smeared it so you can see it better on my finger but a downside to this are the holes are a bit big and like the loose pigment because it's one of those like the it's in the shadows in the jar and then at, at the rim there where the black and the jar meets it's a clear plastic with holes in it but um the holes are a bit big so you get more shadow on the top so you have to be extremely careful how you open this because I travel with my makeup to do makeup for my shows and stuff and um I have to be extremely careful when I'm using this because yeah, if I'm just like talking la -da 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 -da, and I open it, it's like it's going to go everywhere. So the holes are a bit too big for my liking, but it's very, very pigmented. A little bit goes a really long way. Actually, all I use when I'm using this is whatever it ends up being left in the cap. And I will show you. This is the the cap and I just use whatever pigmentation or pigments are in that in the cap and I use it on my eye look and I love it even for a simple going out look you just put this on with a blender brush or uh, a blending brush and you can do a little cut crease with this little wind dye. I love the shadow it's very versatile and then so the other day for the second product now I'm going to talk about this cocoa butter spray lotion so you know how Vaseline has Vaseline has a brand of spray lotions um so my sister went out to Target and she got she got it but she was complaining about it and I was like I'll give it a try because I feel like I'm the more positive one like I'm willing to give things a try multiple times before I give up on it and I ran out of lotion so I started to use this and I have to say I do not like it just for the sheer fact if it's a spray lotion and I'm assuming it was invented for people who are running late or running on the run you just spray and and um, massage it into your skin and you're good to go um, again this is the generic brand so I'm not sure how true the original Vaseline brand is but this is so hard to spray you guys First of all, let me show you what it looks like. Um, it's the the packaging. I think is super cute and sleek. Like because it's a metal, there's a little um, area here for you to grip onto it and hold, which I absolutely love. Um, and I I cannot tell you where the cap went because it's my sister. I just grabbed it from her room, so that's um, I just grabbed it without the cap. However. Um, you guys hear that is very liquidy in there. And the consistency when I used it, it was liquid. But before you even got to the consistency, it was an uphill battle because to spray, you would think like I need to push down and spray. Like, I'm not sure if you guys can see how my finger is like tensing up. 
trying to spray this it doesn't spray you want to know how it sprays it sprays like this like extra force Ooh, it is cooling though so it feels nice on the skin um but it's like extra force and it's like and when you're running late and you're trying to massage the lotion in your skin your hands get slippery and i i would like to use one finger to spray and oh i'm sorry i hit you guys but I was saying you want to use one finger to spray and go and that was not the case. I had to constantly use my palm and then when it came to my back I was like what am I going to do? I was like a sitting goose. So I tried this. I tried it the night when I had more patience like after the gym I came home showered and I tried this. And I didn't like it just because the consistency was super liquidy. It is cooling like I said when you spray it it, it feels extremely nice. Um, just because it's something cool on your skin in the summertime. However, it's liquid, so I it didn't do any good for my skin. I mean, there was cocoa butter, but it didn't really do much for my skin, and it's hard to press on. So I did not like the generic Target brand of this, and it does say compared to Vaseline Spray and Go Moisturizer Cocoa Radiant. So I'm assuming if you're going to be a dupe for something, you have to be just as good with a lower price. I think that's what dupes are. That's what dupes should be. So because I haven't tried the original Vaseline, I can't tell you if this if it's that hard to spray. But I'm judging from their commercial, it's really not hard to spray. Because have you guys seen that commercial with the girls like... And she has on like the jacket and then she sprays her legs, pulls up her skinny jeans and her hat. Then she's like, she tips you goodbye. But I didn't feel like tipping anybody goodbye with my hat because it was hard to use. It was, And I tried to love this so badly, but it was just not working. I don't know. Maybe you guys will come back another review Friday a couple months from now and I'll say I, I love it because I am perpetually forgetting to buy lotion. It is a sad, sad fact in my life. Maybe that's why I ran into the snack, huh? You, now I know. Now I've learned my lesson. <laughs> um, but the last product I have for you. I love it. I love it so much. I can't, there are no words. Well, there are words because I'm about to talk about it for like two minutes. But it's this lipstick from Ulta. I got this as a gift from my sister. Mostly because I think I started stealing it from her lipstick collection. When I say my sister has a lipstick collection, she has a lipstick collection. She has the same shade in different brand names on her table. It is not a lie. I kid you not. So serious. However, I digress. So, um, I, like I said, I, I stole this from her lipstick collection. And the shade is Perfect Nude. And... It's almost finished, as you can see. There's a little bit left of it, but it is so... I feel like this color could work for for every skin tone because it's a brownish nude, and I search for a brownish nude forever. Like, if I don't... Because I'm not a lip fan of lip glosses, so I would... I liked... I like carrying around lipsticks, but it's not every day that I can wear, like, a really dark lipstick or a red lipstick or, like, a pinkish nude lipstick, but I do, like brown nudes and this was is the perfect brown nude because it's almost finished but it's kind of hard to see when I swipe well it's not that hard to see when I swatch it on the back of my hand but like I said um it's not that hard to see on the back of my hand but it's a brownish nude and I'm not sure how well you guys are seeing this but I absolutely love this shade and I usually when I'm going out or something I usually have this and a darker lipstick in my purse depending on what my outfit is because I always forget to pack lipstick so I just perpetually have lipsticks in my purse um, and just usually the two this one and a darker one which you guys will see next week's review Friday because I love that oh the love is real but um yeah, it, it has um, a not a really glossy finish, but not a matte finish. It's, it's in the nice in-between. It's super creamy, super moisturizing. I remember a day I didn't have chapstick. I perpetually run out of chapstick as well as lotion, by the way. But I didn't have chapstick, but I did have this. And I put it on, and it was perfect. And it didn't look like I had on a ton of lipstick, and my lips were moisturized or... 
at least until I could go buy some chapstick. But it was so creamy. It feels like velvet, velvet silk on your mouth. I actually have it on right now, but I have a little bit of the darker one on top because the sunlight was kind of washing my face out and I needed to look... I need it to be a little bit darker, but just when I say a tiny, like I literally did three dabs of the dark one on my lips, but I love this lipstick and it's almost finished and mm, so silky. I absolutely love it and I have to go and replace it before I finish this because I saw it was finishing and I just stopped using it for a bit, but I can't help it. It's so pretty on my skin. It's like perfectly pinkish and brownish nude it's like the name is so true to the color it is truly the perfect nude i absolutely love this lipstick don't know what i did before i got it don't know what i'm going to do after it finishes but hopefully alta does not discontinue this co this color because it's too good like obviously alta products have their their label on it but nowhere to be found because i totally rubbed it off from using it too much so yeah. that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry because the sun is going down and I may be a little bit too dark right now because I'm running out of light. But thank you for watching. I absolutely appreciate the views. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm sorry I didn't say this in the, in the beginning. But welcome to my channel. Love you for subscribing. There will be more giveaways coming up. Like I said, with every FC bag, there's almost always going to be a giveaway. Um, there, will, but there will be more giveaways more than the FC bags. And um, yeah, don't forget to hit like, comment, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all in my next video. And I am so hot. Like I said, I just got home from work. And I'm dying in the heat of this drum. So, <laughs> that was a bit dramatic, wasn't it? Anyway, I gotta go. I love you all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And have a fantastic day, night, evening, walk, run, gym time, whenever you're watching this. I love you. I love the support. I appreciate the support. And I will see you all in my next video. I said that like three times already, right? Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys.